Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, we've been taking a look at uh, some of the basics of matrices. Uh, one of the operations that's going to come up more often than not uh, with matrices is finding the determinant of a matrix. Uh, the determinant can only be found um, for a square matrix. Um, so the most basic examples that we normally look at, uh, the most uh, often used examples, are 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrices. So that's what we're going to take a look at right now. Uh, the determinant is a scalar value. Uh, it's used in cross product often and is not a scalar when it's used in cross product. Uh, but right now we are looking for the scalar value of determinant. So the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix A, uh, it's very simple. Um, we have a 2x2 two two matrix A, B, C, D. So the determinant of A, also denoted with uh, absolute value type symbols. Um, don't be confused, that's not the absolute value of A uh, when we're looking at matrices. Uh, those symbols mean determinant. And for A, it's simply the uh, entries on the diagonal uh, subtracted and subtract the entries on the other diagonal. So you have AD minus BC. Uh, for a 3x3 three three matrix, it's a little bit more complex. Uh, essentially what you do is you remove the first row. So you have A, negative B, positive C. Uh, and then you have the 2x2 two two matrices that are uh, on the bottom two rows. So when you take out A, essentially what you're doing is crossing out the uh, top row in the left, or the top row in the leftmost column. And then you have a determinant of A is A times the determinant of E, F, H, I. Um, and then you take B, and with B we're subtracting, so cross out the second column in the first row. And then you subtract B times D, F, G, I. Remember, you want to cross out that middle row. So you have minus B, D, F, G, I, and then you're going to add C, and then you're going to cross out the rightmost column, topmost row. So you're looking for C times D, E, G, H. So that's the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Um, you can also find the determinant of a matrix if it's uh, in lower or upper triangular form, uh, which means all zeros or uh, all non-zeros below the main diagonal, and then that's for... Uh, for upper triangular form, it's all zeros below the main diagonal. For lower triangular, it's all zeros above the main diagonal. So essentially, what that means is that if it is in upper lower triangular form, the determinant of A is just uh, all the entries on the diagonal multiplied. So A11 times A22 times A33 and so on multiplied by A and N. And we can use uh, elementary row operations to get the matrices in upper or lower triangular form, uh, make it a little easier sometimes to work with uh, rather than working with uh, the 3x3 three three matrix example. So when we do do uh, elementary row operations, they will actually switch the value of the determinant. When you change the rows, uh, it changes the sign. So for example, if we were to switch the second and third row of this matrix up here, then it, we would actually be looking for negative determinant. Uh, multiplying a row by a scalar C multiplies the entire determinant by C. So if we thought it would be easier to multiply the second row up here by 2, we would have to multiply the determinant by 2. And we can factor out scalars in front of the equation, uh, which you're going to see when we take the determinant of A over here. So let's look at the example. Um, we're going to start off by just taking the determinant in the normal style, and then I'll put the matrix into uh, upper triangular form and uh, find out what happens when we use elementary row operations. So just multiplying it up as normal. So that's, uh, we've, we've broken it down into uh, components that are 2 by 2 matrices, which are very easy to take the determinant of. So you have 2, and then the determinant inside is 2 times 2 minus 6 times 1 is negative 2. Minus uh, 1, and then we have negative 1 times 12 is negative 1 minus 
6 times 4, uh, excuse me, negative 1 times 12 is negative 12, minus 6 times 4 is negative 36. So we have, uh, in this rightmost uh, column here, we have uh, negative 1 times 1 minus uh, 4 times 2. So the determinant of that matrix, oh, it looks like I made a little mistake here uh, in the first column. Uh, this down here was supposed to be a 12, not a 2. So this value is going to change here. Uh, it's actually going to be 2 times 24 minus 6 is 2 times 18. So we're going to have 36 minus a negative 36, which is 36 plus 36. minus 27, and the value of that determinant is going to be 45. So that's our final answer, 45. Uh, keep that in mind, and now we're going to do a little manipulation, do some row operations on A, and see if we get the same answer. So what I'm going to do first is swap the top and uh, second row. So we have that negative 1 on top, that's going to change the sign of the determinant. So now I want to put the uh, matrix in upper triangular form. So what I'm going to first do is add 2 of row 1 to row 2 and add 4 of row 1 to row 3. That way we can get rid of the leading 2 and 4 and make them zeros below that main diagonal. So now we have the determinant is negative determinant of negative 1, 2, 6, 0, 5, 15, 0, 9, 36. Let's factor out a 5 and a 9 out to the front. So that matrix is a little bit easier to work with. Um, and then you're going to see that uh, the, the whole determinant is going to be multiplied by 5 times 9. So now we have it as a negative 5 times 9 times the determinant of that matrix on the left, or excuse me, on the right. Um, basically, all we need to do now is just subtract row uh, 3, uh, excuse me, row 2 from row 3 so we can get rid of this 1. And that way, uh, the main diagonal will be filled with numbers, but it will be an upper triangular form because these three numbers will be 0. It's hard to see there, but that's a minus row 2. So now we have it in uh, upper triangular form. Just multiply along the diagonal. Negative 1 times 1 times 1 times negative 45 is going to equal 45. So when you're using elementary row operations to find the determinant, you do have to be very careful and make sure that you always have the correct sign and that you're always multiplying by the scalars that you're factoring out or uh, multiplying the determinant through by. Um, but we can see that elementary row operations do indeed help us get to the same uh, form, the determinant here. And the determinant of that matrix A that we looked at is 45.